Welcome to Depression to Expression. My name is Scott. This isn't a fashion vlog channel. This We don't talk about handbags here and, and designer products. It's a mental health channel. And the story of Kate Spade is a mental health story. All right, we've done, you know, I've done videos on Robin Williams, Chester Bennington, Chris Cornell, these people who seemingly had it all, um, had all this success in the world that they wanted. But mental health problems, mental illness doesn't care about financial success. There are no boundaries, man. People need to open up. The moment you feel like these intrusive thoughts are taking control of you, suicidal ideation, thoughts of life being pointless, you feeling worthless, you feeling like you don't deserve to live, like the world would be somehow better off without you, that your family members would be better off, that your friends would be better off, that the world somehow doesn't have a place for you. These aren't real thoughts. These thoughts are not you. Recognize that. I know it is so difficult. I'm telling you, please reach out for help. This story is common. Kate Spade hanged herself in her apartment. A million people die by suicide each year around the world. A million people. We have anti-stigma campaigns spending millions and millions of dollars and people still have trouble talking about it. We're afraid of what other people will think of us if we say that we're very depressed, if we don't feel like living. We're afraid of taking medications. We're afraid of, of other people's opinions of us. This is an extremely sad story, but it's far too common. It's extremely common. My only hope for anyone watching this, because it's a pretty breaking news story here, um, is to recognize that, again, mental health problems and mental illness affect us all. We all have mental health. We need to take care of our minds. We do. It's not something you can just go throughout your daily life and not take care of it. You need to be disciplined in your mental health. You need to exercise. You need to eat healthy. You need to build solid relationships. It's not easy. Life is extremely difficult. Suffering is so inevitable. We go through extremely difficult times. This is such a sad story. It has to be a lesson. We have to learn from this. And I've done the same talk with Chester Bennington. I've done the same talk with Robin Williams, as I mentioned. These stars that somehow, you know, it's just such a tragedy. And it's not just with stars. It's with everyone around the world so tragic. Please talk about it. Please talk about it.